Kia ora, Pauname Scouten, no Tanaki Iwi, Te Atiawa, me Natiru Nui. The vision started like 20 years ago for me, uh, to really want to come home to uh, my nana's whenua with the dream of being fully sustainable with food. So 14 months ago, my mother and father returned from Australia, uh, looking to settle somewhere in Taranaki, back to their, their maunga, back to their um, whenua. And together, we decided to purchase this property. Te Rauorongo is all about the multiple ways of healing. And for us, as a whānau, moving back onto whenua and to be able to exert our own um, mana motu haki about how we are kaitiaki on this land has been super important and a way to bring our whānau together, to have dreams and visions, not just for our lives, but for the future generations to come. In this beautiful space, there's quite a lot going on actually. Over here behind me, you'll see Te Whanipihinga, which is our tunnel house, which grows all of the seedlings, like hundreds of seedlings for our whānau. Over to the left here is where our hei hei live. So they supply probably about four to five eggs a day. Um, in winter, we take on some lambs, so we hand rear lambs, so they get to hang out there with us for about eight weeks. We're utilizing the wool as a mulch. Over the summer months when it's warm, you use mulch to A, keep moisture into the soil, and then it just lowers the rate of your weeds. And then our latest addition to our whanau is this berry house, the Whadihua. And at the moment, there's 23 different types of berries gone in. We're trying to create a place where we're living, there's always kai available throughout the whole year. We're just outside Bluebell, which is um, our plant barrow. So really Bluebell was a gift from Komatua down in Manaya, who loved growing plants and used to sell plants to his community. So I thought I'd do the same. And really it's a, just a place to share some of the excess that we have and to share some varieties of flowers, natives and herbs rungwa for our community. It drives me to be able to empower our whanau to grow food because we all come from a long line of gardeners. We've just been distracted. And so, you know, part of my mahi is to um, reinvigorate, reactivate that learning. We run a program called Tātai Tangata Ki Te Whenua, and we grow through a, a gardening season. Uh, so it's a journey, right? People are beginning, they're growing at home, and they come here for wānanga so that they can see it on a bigger scale. And so, yeah, people are now, our whānau's growing kai, which brings immense joy. There's been heaps of challenges since, um, even before arriving. You know, finding a bank that would finance us uh, so it could sit in a family trust. There's been challenges because we had too much grass in the first three months, like what to do with it. We were new to farming and working with whenua, and so this is five acres and it's quite a lot. So learning how to work with animals, you know, we had some tragedies actually along the way. So with Gabrielle, you know, no power, which meant no water you know, for five days, no internet, all the things that we're all like so used to, how resilient are we really? And so starting to address some of that stuff by thinking about solar panels coming in and maybe a backup generator so when power goes out, we've still got running water. Putting in the composting toilet system was an innovation to overcome not being so reliant on water. So there have been massive learning curves, painful learning curves, but now we know. So if you're thinking about setting yourselves up as a papa kainga or coming together with like minds, like have a lot of hui, you know, like talk about things that are really important, like life and death things, <laughs> um, financial things, like we've had to be really courageous about talking th about things that are uncomfortable. That was where we started in Wānanga really. Uh, what happens when, you know, and who takes responsibility for different things. And like I said, you've got a journey from the I, because we're used to doing whatever we like, right, in our own individual minds and into a we. And that's a huge journey. And I wouldn't say I've got there in 14 months. It's continual le learning about letting go of the I. But I think it's worth it. As we've seen with all of the challenges worldwide, 
you know, we need to be geared up uh, to be resilient. And my focus has been on Kai resilience. However, I feel like actually healing resilience is also important. Because actually without your whole water, you know, you, then you can't work the garden. Um, you can't work the land. And, you know, pull on people that have got skills. I'm good at some things, but not everything. And I think that's completely great uh, to not try and be the jack of all trades. You know, be good at what you do, do it well, and do it with aroha.